Hey everybody and welcome to the new video and today I'm super excited because I just got this in the mail. Um, this company reached out to me, Carl Schmidt Sohn, and they asked me if I wanted to make a review video on one of their new air fryer and pressure cookers. My mom has one of these air fryers, not this one, but she has an air fryer and it is super helpful. We have cooked so many things in it. If, you, if you've been on like Pinterest or Instagram or any like big nutritional blogging sites, you've definitely heard of an air fryer and you've probably heard the positive reviews that these things have been so highly acclaimed for. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna unbox this for you guys and I'm also going to be throwing some burgers inside of here. And yeah, so let's get started. I only have a plastic knife because this is not the right thing to be using for this. There we go. I don't know why I chose a plastic knife. Uh, this is impossible for it. There we go. There we go. So, this is what you see when you open the box. You get this, which looks like uh, an instruction manual. Uh, we're gonna be looking at that later. In here, the first thing you see, this is uh, one of the racks that you could use for cooking. You could just like lay your food on top of it right here. Get a different angle for you guys. Top layer of styrofoam. And this is your power cables. This is the thing that uh, plugs into the wall and the back of the actual air fryer. Right here we have one of the lids that you use. So this is the pressure cooker lid. Uh, I believe this thing comes with two different lids. One of them is if you're gonna be pressure cooking and the other is if you're air frying. So this is the first one, it's for pressure cooker. And this is the little valve in which you've released the steam from it. And underneath here, I think this is rubber. It's either rubber or silicone. I oh, know, it feels tough enough to be rubber. And then, of course, you have here wrapped in bubble wrap your little frying pan that you kind of use as a like protective shield and also to like air dry it. And then the last thing we have is the actual unit right here. So let me just get this packaging off for you guys and I'll show you. Looks like it comes detached already. So the first thing is the lid for the air fryer. Like I said, it comes with two different lids, pressure cooker and air fryer. And underneath here, a bunch of coils underneath here, and I guess that's for the actual cooking. This nice little film. And this is most likely a screen, maybe a touch screen, we're gonna find out. And this is what basically like attaches on to the actual pot. And that pot is what I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so here it is. We have the nice little screen right here. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of this because you can't really see in the camera. It has many different options such as pressure cook, slow cook, saute, steam, bean chili, rice, poultry, meat stew, many different things that you could do with this. And then on the inside, you can take it out and here's the actual pot that you use which you will be putting your food inside. And then it also comes with these little utensils. I think this is a plastic ladle, a rice scooper, and it has like the little rigid uh, parts on it. You can't really see. And then a measuring cup. So that is the entire unboxing section of the video. And now let's move it to the kitchen. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. All right, so now we are in my kitchen and I have set it up all here on my nice little countertop in my college suite and we're gonna plug it in right here. This was the plug that I had unboxed earlier and you'll see right here that this is where it plugs in. There's a, this nice little port on the air fryer side. There are two different ways of cooking with this. There is air frying and pressure cooking. For this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to air fry and it just plugs in right there. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Cool, and now we could plug it in and right when you plug it in, this is what shows up on the screen. You heard that little beep. It takes a little bit of time to load up and then, oh there, I guess you have to like hit menu or something. And this is your main screen for everything. So I guess 
up here is the menu for air frying and down here is pressure cooking and I guess we're not gonna be really using this here because this is an air frying video. So you have little different options up here. This is a touch screen and there are different things that you could touch like uh, temperature and timer for like custom times that you want to be cooking and down here is DIY for for custom times like I just did and then here's the power button the menu button so I'll get to that in a sec this is oh no 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 okay so what you need to do is not hit the play button because I, I completely honest I wasn't sure what it did so I just pressed it and I just found out that that means to start cooking and I was just about to start cooking an empty pot so don't do that up here you have different food icons there's fries fish shrimp pizza steak what is that I'm not sure what food that is but it's something maybe some kind of vegetable and then chicken wings right here how uh, you can't really click these because that's not a part of the touch panel but in order to cycle through them you just keep hitting the menu button and as you could see it uh, selects each food option up there one thing that I noticed right off the bat is there's no cheeseburger or burger patty option and that's what we're gonna be cooking today so luckily I have this little recipe book that it comes with because uh, a burger patty is not one of the default options we have to use a DIY custom and that can be found in this recipe book so there's actually many things that you could cook in here such as uh, stroganoff, the cook cream cheese flan, interesting chicken wings that's always good I've made chicken wings in an air fryer before we find burger here it is here is cheeseburger so I guess this gives you like a full like recipe on how to make this specific beef burger with like the seasoning and everything looks like what it's telling us is we need to cook this at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and cooking for 10 minutes and flipping them in the middle so let's do that all right so I have my burger patty right here on this nice little plate and I thought real quick I'm gonna be doing this section on what I'm going to be seasoning my patty with so what I'm gonna be using is this mushroom and company multi-purpose umami seasoning blend as well as this other seasoning blend which has salt chili pepper cheese chipotle and cumin and then also some classic salt and pepper yes that's the only salt and pepper i have right now please remember i'm in college Alright, so with my burger patty all nice and seasoned up, I'm going to start the cooking process. Uh, I decided that I'm going to toss this in here. This is one of the little uh, racks that comes with the air fryer. And I thought it would probably be better to use this uh, for this specific food because I didn't want the burger patty sitting on the actual, like, just flat against the metal. Because burgers are typically cooked on grills, I thought that I would give this a nice little layer so it can have some nice airflow in there. It's an option for you, you don't have to do it, but I'm just gonna do it right here. So now I'm gonna load the burger into there and we are going to cover it up. Cool, so now we're gonna plug it in like we had did before. That menu comes up once again. And again, the burger patty is not an option here, so that means we're gonna do a custom one, go down to DIY. Okay, I just looked at the recipe book to remember what it was. It was 375 degrees. Let's go up there. Oops. Hmm, looks like there's not an option for, hold on. Looks like there's not an option for 375, only 370 or 80. Uh, I might be doing something wrong, hold on. So I guess I'm just gonna go 380, that won't be a huge issue. Okay, and we're gonna start with five minutes. Like the direction said, it needs to cook for 10 minutes, but you need to flip it halfway through. Actually, it was six minutes and then four minutes to go. Cool, the temperature is queued up to 380 and the time's queued up to six minutes to start. And the burger's in there, it's on the rack, seasoned up nice, let's get started. Cool, so you might be able to hear this. 
One thing that's great about this air fryer is that it's super, super quiet. I know some air fryers can be louder than others, but this one is very nice. I love the quality of it and I love the design and it's not even loud at all. Really big plus side to this. I'm very impressed with how quiet this is. Anyway, we're going to get back to you guys in 5 minutes and 27 seconds, 26 seconds. We're going to see you then and we're going to flip our burger patty. Okay, so now we've passed 5 minutes. It starts to beep and it sounds like it's still going, so I guess we just take it off. Yeah, so it looks like you could just take it off and you don't have to worry about it like uh, cooking over. Like, I'm gonna set that down real quick and this is the status of our patty. Of course, it's not cooked all the way yet. It's only half cooked. And this is the time for us to flip it. I can't flip it because it's, hold on, let me get a fork. That's a spoon. That's also a spoon. That's also a spoon. That's also a spoon. Okay, so. We're gonna go ahead and flip this patty. Oh gosh, I'm like freaking tenderizing it. No. Okay, I accidentally broke it a little bit, but that's fine. Just ignore that. And now we could set it once again to cook for the remaining four more minutes. Um, I'm gonna go uh, ahead and do it for a little bit longer than that. I'm gonna give it six minutes. Uh, so the thing about an air fryer is that these are one of those things where you kind of have to like feel it out. You know when you're cooking in a microwave and you like are heating up some leftovers and you put it in for a minute, see how that goes. And if it's a little bit cold, you put it in for like 30 more seconds. That's kind of the same concept here. Um, I have a feeling that the burger is gonna take a little bit longer only because it was uh, frozen. And we're gonna try that out, six minutes. All right, we'll see you then. One thing that I will mention about the air fryer is that this is my first time using it and I am kind of getting this little smell of factory metal and I think that's just because I haven't broken it in yet. You know when you get like a new appliance and then the first time you use it, it kind of gives off that smell. That's what I'm getting right now, but I could also smell the burger and it smells amazing. I wish you guys are here to smell it. So yeah, if you do use this air fryer or basically any kitchen appliance, just bear in mind that you are gonna get that little smell before. It might be helpful to wash it before you use it, something I probably should have done, but it's completely fine. And yeah, we have four minutes and 20 seconds to go. All right, let's check on it. Um, again, it looks like it keeps cooking even after the timer's gone, or maybe I haven't given it a chance to stop. I don't know, so I guess I don't really see the purpose of the timer then. I feel like the timer is just to tell you that it's done, but it doesn't actually stop cooking, which, if you ask me, I feel like the cooking should stop. But either way, here is the burger patty. It looks really good. Let me get this out on a plate for you guys. All right, so here it is. Again, I accidentally broke it when I was uh, flipping the patty earlier, but that's completely fine. This is what it looks like. It came out really good. Um, it might look a little bit red in the camera, but um, that's just the lighting that I'm in right now. Uh, it smells super good. It's a nice thick cut. The meat uh, feels good. It feels like a good um, like texture to it. I'm gonna try it now. Again, I seasoned this with, hold on. What was it? I seasoned it with this, this, and of course some salt and pepper. So let's try this right now. I don't have any burger buns. My roommate is actually out getting them because we are going to be having some of these burgers tonight because I'm super excited to finally be trying out this air fryer. Mmm. Oh yeah. That tastes really good. I feel like I could use some cheese with this, it'd be better, but either way, as far as the patty, cooked it amazingly. I'm so happy with how this air fryer has worked. I'm gonna show you guys some clips of me cooking these for my roommates later tonight, but I'm gonna close up the video right now. Thanks again so much to Carl Schmidt Sohn for sending me this air fryer. I love your product, it works so good, and I know that I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot because there's I'm a college student, I'm gonna be having, you know, different foods, and I'm very satisfied with this. 
So thank you for so much for sending it to me because I'm very happy. If you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe. For more videos, please check out more videos on my playlist of different little products that I've tested along the way. And if you have not followed me on TikTok, we just hit 120,000 followers on TikTok. Thank you guys so much for that. It is in the description as well as 18 Jason M on TikTok. So find me there, follow me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. What the? Wait, 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 I want ketchup with mine. Oh, you want ketchup? Yeah, it's, it's an important, uh, so. send it back. I need to sell it to my friend. This needs to go in the game. It's cursed in I only put right. stuff that's cursed in Is your ketchup? Yeah, so the, it looks like the patties are a little bit bigger than the buns, but that's okay. You trying to do listen I'm trying to get all of it out I thought you were trying to make a heart for a second no I'm that's... just I'm just trying to get it out. <laughs> it looked like half a heart all right oh, yeah. good mm -hmm. good yeah good. yeah so there you go guys that's how the air fryer works um, I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description and you guys will be able to uh, click on it and get one yourself. Again, thank you so much to this company for sending it out to me. Uh, they seem to like it. Yes. <laughs> cool. I'm just gonna go to the kitchen.